Hey guys, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Try It Tuesday, and for those of you that don't know, Tuesday is where we try new things. Now, today is not necessarily something new on the channel. Um, thinking back to about a year and a half ago, back before we even hit 100 subscribers, uh, we found a lot of new things by just walking around the grocery stores. One of the things that we found was devour uh, frozen meals. Now, a lot of the ones that we did in that video, you can't find in the grocery stores anymore. Um, so I think that's why a lot of people have been disliking our video uh, from a year and a half ago. But we wanted to update that to what we found in the grocery store now as far as devour videos. Now, this isn't obviously a whole range of what you can find in the grocery store. This is just what we found the one time we went. Um, they've got, I want to say, up to like a dozen different yeah, uh, flavors like or... Um, profiles that you can get at the grocery store but what we do is we try to you know at least showcase some of the the things that you can go find at the grocery store yourself so uh we do always look for your suggestions down below is where you can do that uh you guys can always email us at barely honest at gmail.com or you can hit us up on facebook twitter instagram whatever if you ever want to find out where those links are you can go to beardlyhonest.com and we've got links to all those things but thank you guys so much for all the love you've been giving the channel all the likes all the comments all the shares and most importantly the subscriptions once we hit a thousand the, the lovely wife will be she's i know she's oh my gosh it's getting closer closer, <laughs> closer than i think uh she will make her first appearance on the channel um is there any order that i need to eat these in no i mean maybe this way over because this is the one I cooked first. Okay. So yeah, pull it out and... So, devour meals are kind of geared towards guys. This is the, um, what this one was, pulled chicken burrito bowl. They're kind of geared towards guys. They're, I guess, like a uh, competitor to what, like Hungry Man meals? Maybe, kind but they're of, supposed but to be like better ingredients and... Yeah, I mean better, not necessarily better for you, but more like less fake stuff in them. Which this one, yeah, a lot of, a lot of better stuff for you. But I will say this one particular package is 450 calories, 15 grams of fat, 85 milligrams of cholesterol, and 12, 70 milligrams of sodium. And you do get 31 grams of protein in it. So, got kind of a decent mix of things in there but really with any kind of um, frozen food you're gonna get a lot of salt and that's kind of what it looks like right there guys I, don't know I mixed it all up when I was cooking it so yeah it smells very Tex-Mexy yeah well this one it says it has it's got like peppers and beans and rice and some chicken and stuff in there and corn. Ten, tender pulled chicken with black beans and vegetables topped with a creamy tomato chili sauce and cheesy delicious burrito filling without the tortilla. Mm. Not really digging this one. It's kind of bland. Well, no. I don't mind, I mean, okay, if you like Tex-Mex food and you want to take something to lunch or have a meal on a Saturday, whatever you want to do, this would probably be for you. Now, being that we're from Dallas, and that's the Dallas skyline back there, this isn't good compared <laughs> to what we can get here locally. Um... But it's it's pretty it's pretty good for what you can find in a frozen meal. So like for the five minutes it took to cook, that's a good meal. Yeah. Now, if, I mean, if you need a Tex-Mex fix, and like I said, it's it's a frozen meal. This would be this would be a good fit. But just based on it had a lot our, of our local of, palates, yeah. yeah, chunks of chicken, like big chunks great. of chicken in it, though. Yeah. So the next thing we have is sugar farts are back. You didn't even have any sugar, stop. <laughs> I had jelly beans earlier. Oh. So this is uh, pesto ravioli with spicy Italian sausage. You guys can see that right there. This has 670 calories, 37 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturated, uh, 95 milligrams of cholesterol, Actually, I'll just flip it over so you guys can read that yourselves. <laughs> 
that'd probably be easier if you guys want to freeze frame it. Hopefully you can see it. But they do have quite a bit of protein in them for the, the That's size. That's like to be filling, you know? Yeah. So this is pesto ravioli with, ooh, it's kind of stuck to the bottom there. So you guys can kind of oh, you're see, the, yeah, I know, it is what it is. You guys can see that right there. It's still kind of hot, that's good. Yeah, it's got like little sausage chunks in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sausage chunks. It's a spicy Italian sausage. Yeah. They're kind of similar to what you'd find on like a like a Totino's pizza. Okay. <laughs> or um, is it Totino's? The ones that are like a bucket. A buck, yeah. party pizzas or whatever they are. Yeah. But pretty good size raviolis. This is pretty good. I really like the devours that we did a long time ago. Yeah, it was. From what I remember. Mac and cheese with bacon, fried chicken and waffles, which they don't have that one anymore. That was really good. And then there's, I don't remember what the other one. I meant to go back and watch that today. These are really filling though. That's why I'm only having a couple bites of these. But that one I definitely recommend. That's, that's a good. You would do that one for I, a meal? I would probably do that one, yeah. But it is it, it it's enough that it would be filling though, right? Like, oh yeah. That's the one thing I do remember about these is they they were quite filling. Um this one's bacon top turkey with garlic sauce. You guys can see that. Uh four four hundred and ten calories, nineteen grams of fat, seven grams of saturated fat, seventy five milligrams of cholesterol, twelve thirty sodium, and thirty two of protein. You guys can see the quick stats right there. This one probably smells the best. Well, I thought it smelled the worst when I was cooking it. But it's definitely got big old pieces of chicken in there. Turkey. Oh, it's turkey? Oh yeah, Bacon okay. Top turkey. Some kind of poultry. I thought that one smelled the worst. That's pretty good. It kind of looks like it's got like stuffing or yeah, yeah it, does. it does yeah it does savory sausage stuffing which I'm not a big stuffing guy but it's just bread no, no, I don't like that yeah <laughs> it's like the turkey <laughs> the turkey itself is pretty good that's a lot of meat though mm -hmm. is it garlicky no. I don't even taste the bacon. It kind of tastes like a turkey pot pie. Okay. But without the uh, other stuff. Like it's got the same kind of sauce the turkey pot pie might have. Some big old ch chunks of turkey. That's pretty good though. Without the stuff. Yeah. And we got one more for you. Which this one is lasagna alfredo with bacon and sausage. You like their sausage. Yeah, man. They got a lot of heavy stuff. Some 600 calories, 34 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturated, 100 milligrams of uh, cholesterol, 1040 of sodium, and 39 grams of protein. This one I thought smelled the best. Did you? Yeah, I poked it. You had to poke holes in the uh, middle, so okay. that's why it's not undone. I would eat towards the sides, though, because I don't know if the middle got all the way done. We'll see. Mm. Seems okay. It's cheesy. Yeah, it is. It kind of comes in one of those, like, um... It's not the same plastic as the other ones. It's more like the what you would have a lasagna come in. Where it's almost like a paper consistency. That's cheesy though. Yeah. 
Hot. A little hot. It's in there for like nine minutes. So yeah, seven minutes. That's good though. So that one I thought smelled the best. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that cheese is good. Well, it's kind of Alfredo-y too. You know, it's like an Alfredo sauce in there. That's what it says. No, it's the mozzarella and the ricotta that I like. The stuff that's actually making it a lasagna. Mm. It's some good stuff. <laughs> Have you even gotten any sausage or bacon yet? Mm, no. I think the bacon's on top. The sausage is like those little pellet sausages. Like the pizza, pizza one mm -hmm. again. It was good though. It was <laughs> probably my favorite. I was just gonna ask you what your favorite was. I like this one. That looks like it would be really filling. That's so hot. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't burn your mouth. Put that one aside. So that was your favorite. What was your least favorite? Probably the Mexican one. Okay. No. Probably a turkey one. Oh, because you'd probably only eat the turkey and not the stuffing. Yeah. So. This wouldn't be as much of a meal for me as the, the Mexican one. The burrito bowl. So out of these four, which would you ever potentially rebuy and take for lunch? Probably the lasagna. That's the only one? Maybe the, the gnocchi, but... Or the ravioli? Yeah. Okay. The other two, no. Not so much. No, I did see a buffalo chicken with blue cheese macaroni, but you don't... You know. I, I can't have blue cheese. Yeah, I'm allergic so. to it. Um, it's one of the like two things I'm allergic to food-wise. So uh, those are the ones I saw, though. Yeah. There also was like a pulled pork one. Then a lot of the ones online I couldn't find in the store. There are like 12 or 15. They've really expanded it since then. Um, but I'm glad you guys tuned in with us. Like I said, we need your future suggestions for Track Tuesday. So if you have one, drop us a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, down below is where you do it as well. And feel free to share this video as you see fit, guys. And until then, don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day.